Recently, our family decided to go from Tulum to Cozumel for a quick four or five day getaway. And we just grabbed ferry tickets last minute, which are in Playa del Carmen near the Paseo del Carmen Mall by the ferry station. And it was a super easy process just to like do last minute on the fly. Um, very inexpensive and there's ferry schedules like every hour. Basically, once you get there, you find a seat and within 45 minutes, you are in Cozumel. We found a car rental super last minute called 67 Libre and they were awesome. They were one of the least expensive on the island and they met us literally right outside of where the ferry drops you off. So that was perfect. I will leave their info in the video description below. And then we had some time to kill because the Airbnb check-in wasn't until like three. We arrived in the morning. So we drove around the island some, took some photos and then found a really cute vegan vegetarian restaurant. This spot was called La Cuisine, and it was also near the Airbnb airport, five minutes from the ferry, and the owner is a nutrition specialist, so everything is super healthy, vegan or vegetarian, lots of gluten-free options. We loved this spot, and I will leave their info in the video description as well. So we ended up staying in an Airbnb on the West Coast. It's about five to seven minute drive from Centro called La Brisas Condos. It was a three bedroom, three and a half bath beachfront property with laundry. And if you fly in, it's like five minutes from the airport. The Airbnb view was so incredible. We immediately extended our stay for a few more days to take advantage of it. Another perk of this Airbnb was that it was just a few doors down from a bar, so you could pop over, get yourself a cute cocktail, bring it back to the pool, it was clutch. And then back into town we went because we had a little bit more time to kill, so we grabbed some groceries at Chedrawi, which is like the main grocery store in town, and fruit, waters, all that, went back to the Airbnb for our official check-in, and this Airbnb was incredible. Bathrooms, kitchens were a bit outdated, but aside from that, the value and the view was insane. Big living room, big TV, great for the kids to run around in. And it was actually quite quiet for it being close to some other bars. And this view was just top notch. Look at this view, it was incredible. And there was sand in front of the building, which is actually quite rare to find in Cozumel. So you could actually walk on the sand and enter the beach um, and do a bunch of snorkeling. Again, this was a 3-3, three, three, so each bedroom had an ensuite. The two front rooms had oceanfront views, big kitchen uh, and dining room area. We didn't really do much cooking in there, so that was that. The back bedroom was the only one that didn't have an ocean view, but it had a pretty jungle view and another ensuite. And then the master bedroom had a big closet, big ensuite, and again, just an incredible view. So around sunset, we decided to go back into town and find a vegan restaurant. We found one called Coral Restaurante Vegano, and it was a full vegan restaurant. Um, they actually had kind of a really strange, interesting setup, but it was cool. There was like kind of attached to a hotel and there was a pool. There was stairs that led to like a second floor sitting area that had this really cool net that you could like climb up and sit in like a almost like a day bed, um, but they had sushi, they had vegan burgers, they had um, just salads. They're supposed to be known for their like uh, vegan mozzarella sticks. And I'll share some photos of what we got, but it was just a super cute, fun place. I did get eaten alive by mosquitoes. So if you go, definitely bring your mosquito repellent. I will also leave the name of this restaurant below in the video description. Here's some sushi, potato wedges were a big hit. There's the vegan mozzarella sticks um, and the kids playing in the net for a while. We wanted to do a few things specifically for the kids. And so we decided to check out Paradise Beach Cozumel. We bought an all-inclusive day pass that included food, drink and beach club activities and if i'm going to be super blunt here i feel like the only people that would really enjoy themselves at this spot is going to be kids or maybe people that aren't like super well traveled and then just kind of 
um, only experience is to go to these big resorts that have just a ton of people because I personally am not a fan of feeling like just a number and shuffle me in and shuffle me out. This place was jam packed. It's one of the places that all of the cruise stops, you know, stop in Cozumel and then all the people from the cruise ships get off and go to these places. So it was just everyone there was literally from the cruise. And so it felt a bit like Disneyland, Disney World to me. Um, but for the kids, they had a ball. Even when it was raining, <laughs> they were still playing. Um, but once the cruise ship people had to go back to their ship, it was like empty. And we actually had like maybe an hour to ourselves with literally nobody there. So if you have kids, I highly recommend this spot. They will just play and play and play until they are like dead. But yeah, here's the beach with nobody there because the cruise ship people had to go back. Um, so if you're there, not on a cruise, it's just, it seems a bit odd, um, but so much fun for the kids. Can you wave? Then we made it back to the condo just in time for sunset. Look at that view. It was so pretty. Then we had a big day the next morning because we found this guy on the side of the road, super close to the Airbnb with just like a couple horses tied up. And uh, he, we could pay him to have like, pretty much all of us got our own horses. The girls were on one horse. Kane and I were on another horse, Caleb was on his own horse, and he just took us through like a little um, walk through the jungle onto the beach. It was just like, I don't even remember, maybe an hour or two. It wasn't very expensive, but it was a super fun excursion to do in the morning. And then we had a big day after that. So there's a bunch of boats and different excursions that you can do in Cozumel. Here it is raining dur during part of our boat ride, but they basically take you on a little boat and they'll take you to a few different spots that you can swim, snorkel, and even play with like stingrays and starfish. And this was, the water was stunning and you can only get to this area by boat. You cannot drive and like walk there. It's just impossible. There's no road access to places like this. So if you want to do snorkeling, um, there wasn't a ton of fish, but this stingray little exhibition that we did was so cool and there was just literally hundreds of them all around. So after a long day on the water, we decided to check out Sol de Maple in town, which is another vegan restaurant. This place was awesome. They had some really good like little fresh fruit frothies that the kids went bananas over. And then they had just actually like a pretty big vegan menu. Kane got the cheese quesadillas, the kids got some vegan cheese sticks, Caleb got this huge vegan nacho plate, and then I got the Baja tacos, which were like cauliflower, pineapple salsa, avocado, oh my god, it was so good. And then don't forget the vegan Oreo milkshake. The kids were fighting over that one. We got one for all three. The next morning, we checked out Cafe de Isla, and it was like a newer little coffee shop in town. It was super cute with a really good menu. It's not vegan or vegetarian, it's just like a normal cafe. Um, I had a vegan milk chai latte. I had this fig toast that was incredible. Caleb got some breakfast potatoes and an omelet. Girls had a little granola bowl that was really, really good. And of course, Kane with the Nutella toast. If we would have stayed a few more days, I definitely would have gone back to this cafe. Highly recommend it. And then driving through the town, we decided that we wanted to check out beaches that weren't um, like with a beach club that were more private. And so we drove over to the East Coast to check out Chin Rio. And if you want like the most privacy, here's the left side of Chin Rio. Keep driving down as far as you can go, kind of past the little shops. And the right side of Chin Rio is really quiet we might have seen 10 people on the whole beach like the whole time we were there for an hour or two. You can pack up like your little cooler and um, you don't need to like go anywhere, but there are little shops and you can get drinks and stuff uh, just by walking back to where the parking area is. Here you'll see the beach at Chin Rio. It's super calm. It was really beautiful. The water was stunning. And this was just like a sleepy beach. There's like not much to do here. You're not gonna get service or anything like that, but if you want privacy, I would highly suggest checking out Chin Rio. So after spending a few hours at Chin Rio, we decided to hop back on the road and keep driving south to Punta Sor Beach area. And there's a bunch of cute little 
stops one of them is called rasta bar we didn't stop here but if you're like driving or bicycling around the beach area this would be a really cute spot for like cold drink take some photos and get back on the road we went to playa palancar which was a little bit further down this was like a perfect mix between a beach club but with some privacy and without the crowds here you will find you know bed service restaurant um, they had like showers all that here's a kuati that was running around super cute the food terrible <laughs> it was like no good but the water more than made up for this spot um so if you're looking for like crystal clear water a really quiet beach but with some service highly recommend the spot caleb actually saw a shark <laughs> a little bit further out when he went swimming but we loved this i highly highly recommend checking this out if you're looking to avoid the crowds later that night i decided to check out a spot i had my eyes on since we got there and i did not want to leave Cozumel before trying the Nutty Treesome vegan sushi. I went back into town, got some things to go, brought it back to the Airbnb. I ordered the Kung Fu bowl, which was incredible, and then like four different sushi rolls. They were all super interesting and really different, so I highly recommend trying out a bunch. The owner was super kind, super sweet, and I will leave their info in the video description as well. This was our last restaurant on the island, and then the next day, we laughed, but this few, I just still can't stop thinking about. Overall, I give Cozumel a two thumbs up. We love the island. It's kind of a sleepy island, but they had some beautiful water, some really great vegan, vegetarian food options. The people were super friendly, and it's really easy to get to.